It's Cineholics time. I'm Jackie Monahan with this week's review of I Am Number Four. I Am Number Four. The intriguing title only gives way to a mediocre film, I'm afraid, has a promising premise, delivers little more than a sappy teen love story, complete with boring Oxfield dialogue and long, lingering glances that do nothing to advance the plot. Alien fugitives from another world are hunted and killed by alien fugitives from yet another world, and everyone came down to planet Earth for the cat and mouse game. The reason? World domination, of course. Numbers one through three are dead, good guy aliens called Lorians, killed by the vicious Mogadurians, big linebacker-sized dudes in black dusters a la Matrix. Uniformly bald with pointed teeth and barely any white in their eyes, they breathe through gills on the side of their nose and sound like they're speaking English with a Scandinavian accent. Now that's scary. They cart around two flesh-eating beasts in an iron truck, and they're killing the Lorians in order. Number four is next in the deli line. Number four goes by the Earth name of John Smith, Alex Pettifer, which turns out to be as original as a lot of the other plot points in this sci-fi gone awry attempt at introducing two new races of extraterrestrials living on Earth. The Lorians are good. The Mogadurians are bad, ugly, vicious, and apparently all male. There were nine special Lorians, each given a warrior protector. John's is Henry, Timothy Oliphant. The two travel cross-country as fugitive father and son, living in small towns until they are detected. One such town, named oxymoronically Paradise, Ohio, is where John meets his one true love, Sarah, Diana Agron. She's a photographer who still uses film. I guess that's what passes for original these days. The two embark on a somber teen romance that will bore the majority of viewers, leaving only the Twilight fans to swoon unless they've fallen asleep too. There's action and special effects, and the bad guys have no redeeming qualities. Many questions are left unanswered, and the optimistic hope of a sequel. The biggest question of all is, will anyone care? Based on the book by Pittacus Lore, and directed by D.J. Caruso of Disturbia fame, I Am Number 4 begins as a promising mystery, and ends as a disappointing made-for-TV movie mired in a silly, slow-moving boyfriend-girlfriend drama that incorporates a bully and a nerd before it takes on the galactic gang that would destroy the world. That sound you just heard was the collective audience head falling forward with a thud. This is a DreamWorks production that takes the dream part literally while neglecting the works until the very end, and by then it's lost everyone but tweens and adolescents who must have crushes mixed in with their crashes and frivolous flirting intermingled with the flammable. I give I am number four two reels for some impressive special effects that unfortunately sandwich a lackluster filling. This is Jacqueline Monahan. Join us at Cineholics.com for movie and book reviews, indie happenings, and cinema newsy bits. See you on the big screen.